the hour. Comedian Ron Placone, live in studios. He's one of them. They're youngins. He's on the uh, Young Turks, right? Uh, network on, on network, YouTube. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, personal friend of the Stephanie Miller Show now. Coming to our debate party Sunday, right? Yeah, totally. See, he's a typical elusive uh, millennial that can't commit. Doesn't he's like? Uh, I'm one of the maybe. non-elusive ones. Yeah. There's like no. You're easy. Us. Oh my god, you're so easy. I don't know how I'm gonna feel on Sunday. Boom! I asked him to go for a hike. He's here in like two, two and a half seconds. I'm like, where do you live? How did you get here? I, I live in your backyard. Actually. I thought That's so. We, yeah. we were gonna you tell you that up eventually. In the trees. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just kind of live in the tree. <laughs> Six a.m. I'm already here. I'm. I'd be, I'd be happy to. Okay. Uh, all right, we got uh, Dean Obadala coming up, John Fugelsang, John Melendez, Frangela. By the way, can you confirm? Well, a very exciting letter about Sexy Liberal LA went out yesterday, I right? Heard things, yeah. A lot of big surprises. <laughs> very exciting. Oh, my God, I can't. I wish I could say, but I can't. But you got to get those last tickets. You got to see it. November 5th, mm-hmm. uh, Beverly Hills Saban Theater out here in uh, Los Angeles. And uh, that's going to be taped and then into movie theaters all over the country. November 7th, fathomevents.com. Get your tickets for a movie theater near right. you. They're, okay. They're everywhere. Yeah, exactly. All right, Catherine in Wisconsin, you're on the Stephanie Miller Show. Hi, Catherine. Hey there. Hi. I've been trying to call into your show for, I don't know, it seems like forever, but it was when the, oh. I guess. Well, you're, you're, luck, you're in luck. The bouncer was late today. You know, it was late, so you got right through. Anybody, Ed. The, well, the, the red ro- rope line is down. Madison. Last time you were in Madison, I, I saw you. Wonderful show. And, Thank you. Um, Okay, so let me try to rein this in. The cover of The New Yorker with uh, Trump on the cover as Miss Congeniality. Yeah. I read an, art- yeah, I read an article, um, quoted the artist, that the artist did it um, having watched the, the uh, debate and all that, and then said that he thought that Trump's Achilles heel is his misogyny. Right. And then, yeah, and so. I was thinking about that, and um, I really, why does he hate women so much? And good God, I looked up a, a photo of his mother, and I'm not trying to be rude, but it, it's him in drag. And look it up sometime. He, I, he would not win the swimsuit competition. I don't mean to be oh rude either. God. If he oh were God, in a pageant. No. Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. So, but the, the thing is, if you really think about it, I back at the debate, and he seemed to unravel, I thought, um, when when uh, Hillary brought up his, you know, daddy's money. Right. And, right, and, and then I started thinking about, well, this misogyny and hey, but was, oh, my God, he's the rich guy who's such an ass. Right. That no, no woman in her right mind would be with him ever if it weren't for his money. Yeah, yeah. Did you see Mark? Did you see uh, Mark Cuban tweeted that uh, he lost like thirty million of his daddy's money before he was thirty or something like that? Just, I love Mark Cuban. It's just. Well, I, I saw this thing that he doesn't have any endorsements from any outlets whatsoever. Any, like he has none, it's never happened before. No, yeah. right. Yeah. Some, somebody even said something like, yeah, he didn't even get the penny saver, and I'm like, well, of course he didn't. Just the very name is something he never had to do. Right. And yeah. then it's like, I was saying, yeah, this is. I mean, first of all, I don't know, thirty more. Former Republican officials just signed a letter saying, you know, they're voting for Hillary. Business leaders, not one business leader. He said he's bad for the economy. Michael Reagan. 